Thank you. Revelation 20. Revelation 20. Uh, chapter 20. The title of this sermon is The Great White Throne Judgment. The Great White Throne. The Coming Judgment. Okay. That, why do we need to preach the gospel? Let's read it. Because Jesus is coming back again. The second time. We already learned that when he comes back. He will destroy the army of the Antichrist. The battle of Armageddon. And then the Antichrist will be captured. Amen. Uh, let's read again chapter 20. I saw an angel coming down from heaven. Having the key to the bottomless pit. And a great chain is in his hand. The angel will have a, a key to the bottomless pit. That's hell. And a great chain in his hand. You know, dogs are, some dogs are afraid of chains, you know, <laughs> right? Because when, when they see their master with a the chain, they already know what's going to happen, right? <clears throat> and they don't like being chained sometimes. Can you imagine the angel of God having a chain? Amen. He, hold, he laid hold of the dragon, verse 2. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old, who is the devil, Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. And he cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and set a seal on him so that he should deceive the nations no more till thousand years were finished. But after these things, he must be released for a little while. In other words, Satan will be captured and chained, chained, not chained, chained, uh, captured and chained and locked in hell for a thousand years he will he will be jailed in hell for a thousand years but after a thousand years he must be released for a little while temporarily he will be released again then verse 4 this is the beginning of the millennium kingdom i saw thrones and they sat on them judgment was committed to them i saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness of Jesus and for the word of God who had not worshipped the beast or his image and had not received the mark of the beast on their foreheads or on their hands and they lived and reigned with Christ for a thousand years but the rest of the dead did not live again until the thousand years were finished this is the first resurrection so at the beginning of the millennium the tribulation saints will be resurrected those who have been beheaded, those who have been beheaded by the Antichrist during the, the last three and a half years of the tribulation, right? These are those who refused the mark, who did not worship the Antichrist. Remember, the Antichrist will promote a worldwide one religion, one world religion, and he will deceive many. <clears throat> so, but these are the people who refuse, and at the beginning, they will reign with Christ for a thousand years. They will be resurrected, and, you know, they have been beheaded, right? So we know the, how the Antichrist will kill, beheading the Christians. Those who have been, those who have been beheaded, amen. And they will rule and reign with Christ for a thousand years. You know, this is a literal earthly kingdom. Uh, I think this is what the Jehovah Witnesses are calling uh, paradise. Uh, but it will be a one year, 1,000 year of reign where Jesus in righteousness will rule the earth with the rod of iron. You know, Kamei Nabahal. Amen. Uh, he will rule with the rod of iron for a thousand years where wickedness well of course in the second coming before the start of the tribulation the antichrist and his armies it would have been destroyed already right the, the armies of the wicked destroyed um, the antichrist captured so when jesus rules for a thousand years there will be no satan right one thousand years satan will be in hell so i wonder what kind of government that will be when satan is not around 